non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Wait till you see how easy it is to do something to actually make this condition better. All right, here we go in the research title. It is called, New Study Indicates That Exercise Improves Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease. In the citation title, for the medical journals out there, Effective Aerobic Exercise Training, Dose on Liver Fat and Visceral Adiposity, published in the Journal of Hepatology this April 2015. Adiposity, adiposity, well, you get the picture. All right, this is what they did. They took a group of uh, 48 volunteers and split them up into different exercise groups and a placebo group. They did a bunch of different types of aerobic, low intensity, high intensity, so on and so forth. Bottom line is all aerobic groups had significant, if not equal, improvement. And the placebo group did not. You'll get to see the picture in a second. This is exactly what happened. Since all three groups, irrespective of the exercise regimen, showed improvement in liver fat of about, ready for this, 18 to 29%. We're only talking eight weeks. 18 to 29% improvement over an average baseline of 7.5% compared with the placebo group where the liver fat actually increased over an eight week period of time by 14%. That's an extreme increase in eight weeks on the placebo group of doing nothing. But the aerobic group, regardless of the intensity, so on and so forth, or the type, lost between 18 to 29%, or I should say improved, 18 to 29% over baseline. That's pretty darn significant, and that's just eight weeks. Imagine if it went like four, five, or six months. Let's continue more with what the researcher said. Researcher said this, the results from our study show that all exercise doses, irrespective of volume or intensity, keep in mind, it's just a matter of just doing something active, were efficacious in reducing liver fat and visceral fat by an amount that was clinically significant in previously inactive, overweight, or obese adults compared with, with the placebo. These changes were observed without clinically significant weight loss, meaning what happened was the non-alcoholic liver fatty disease actually got better even though the scale wasn't changing, which is kind of difficult because I know we like to see the scale move, but in this case, through MRI imaging, they found out the body was doing its job and getting healthier as time goes on, as long as there was just movement evolved. Again, always consult a medical professional, uh, you know, as far as what you decide to do in, in regards to treating non-alcoholic liver fatty disease, or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, I should say. But just a little bit of moving around can solve a lot of problems without medication or additional invasive or difficult medical treatment. Again, Ralph, your channel, signing off, and I really hope this does help. Thank you.